Are we okay? What the fuck is this? Now, Miss Shoster, you know better. You know better. Let's get into this mess. Alone. Hey, are we okay? What the fuck is this? A few moments later. Okay, I just have to say right now that the hate in my inbox is not okay. Okay? I did not mean anything in any kind of way. I am learning every day, as I think everybody is. And this kind of hate just needs to evaporate from the planet, no matter who it's directed towards. Crocodile tears... No, dude, like, this is like my soul out there. If you know anything about what I stand for or what I believe in, you know that it's not this. I am sorry you were offended. I think we all need to vibrate higher for the future. And I know I'm gonna keep learning, I think, like, for my own mental health. I need to take a step back from social media. I kind of felt like that anyway, but it's like, I'm not here to offend or belittle anybody at all. I thought that the millennial and Gen Z thing was a thing on TikTok. I, I, the intention wasn't that serious, y'all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I gotta just go off of here for a little while, but I appreciate you, I love you, and I'll be back. And I hope that I know more and I hope we all have a little more compassion and understanding. <laughs> <sighs> crocodile tears I mean like really like for anyone who knows me you guys know exactly what I stand for I mean like this is my soul like this is my soul crying out like the death threats I just wish humans would change You know, I think that I'm just gonna take a break from social media and, and I'm just gonna spend this time with my loved ones to really understand. Did that look pretty believable, guys? Yeah, I thought it looked pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and post this, and then I'm just not gonna... I'm gonna, like, use my close friends, but I'm not gonna post actively. So I'm gonna just, you know, go ahead and continue to think that they're stupid. Just like, I thought they were stupid when I just made this crying video, even though I'm not really crying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, we're not even gonna talk about the fact that Miss Lindsay is 32 years old. Just so you guys know, Paige from Pretty Little Liars. Paige from Pretty Little Liars. Paige, I'll say it one more time. Paige from Pretty Little Liars. And what was her name on Nes Declassified? I don't even remember her name because she wasn't even that iconic. She, she was a supporting character. She played a supporting role to the main character, for the main character. And that's exactly why Susie Crabgrass, and that's exactly why I remember her name. Is superior and she's always been and Ned knew that Ned knew that but let's get into this so if you guys didn't see the video um, I'm gonna probably insert the clip in the beginning so you guys can see it. it's probably gonna be a clip from TikTok but like this is really sad Lindsay Shaw as she likes to go by is literally 32 years old 
Now, it wouldn't have been a problem had she just been like, you know, like, what the hell is this? Whatever ugly little shit she did. Had she just, she was just said, you know, what the hell is this? Like, what is this? What are these dances you guys come up with? How she said something like that, you know, it wouldn't have been as bad. But let's be honest, with everything that we're going through in America, I mean, we literally just had this whole Shakiri situation, Shakiri Richardson, with her smoking weed and how the whole United States literally went to bat for this one black woman. They literally like targeted the Olympics. They called them racist and they said it's not fair. This, that, and the third, even though Shakari took accountability for the actions, for the decisions that she chose to make, you know, whatever. Um, America, they literally went to bat for that and it got so big. Like, if you guys didn't hear about it, just go look into it. Like, America literally, like, like, Lindsay's 32. <laughs> The reason that I brought that up with, the reason that I brought that up is because this whole Shikari Richardson situation was literally trending number one for like three, four or five days. So I know Lindsay, I know she knew what was going on because Lindsay doesn't trend. So I know for a fact, Lindsay knew what was going on. So mind you, that whole Shikari situation happened. Everybody's talking about how the Olympics is racist and, you know, she smoked the joint. She's the right that fast. What's the problem? Rules are rules. That's the problem. Anyways, the whole thing with the TikTok, the neo-Nazi, the little, oh, black creators, they'll get kicked off the phone if they do wrong, wrong thing. But white creators can go ahead and steal everything, all of the dances, steal the content, and then reuse, reduce, and recycle old Vine videos, old Vine sounds, or just sounds in general that come from mostly black audience. That's another thing that happened. Um, that was global. That wasn't just on TikTok. That was trending. And everybody knows about that. Lindsay's 32. Lindsay's 32. Her birthday's May 10th. I almost thought that bitch was a Gemini. Thank God she's a Taurus because I would have really dragged her because James Charles is a Gemini and I just did a video on him. Those little crocodile tears that she like, these aren't crocodile tears. They're coming from my soul. Okay, bitch. And those comments that you made came from your soul too. So am I supposed to sympathize? You didn't sympathize for us after you made that video. And then you didn't even try to do the dance correctly. You literally mocked the dance. And then after you got dragged, not saying it's right. I'm not saying you deserve death threats. Nobody deserves death threats. But you know exactly how the internet is because you've been around. You've been around for so long. You've been around probably before Nesty Classified. I remember Nesty Classified when, when I was like 10, 11, 12. You've been around for some time, Jennifer. So you you know right from wrong. So I just, I'm not understanding why you didn't expect to have that reaction knowing how cancel culture is. And then out of all places, you posted it on TikTok. And then out of all videos, you chose, you chose the group of black people, the group of black thugs, doing a cute little dance, you know, minding their business, getting their likes. What, what was the point? What did you gain out of it besides, you know, your soul coming out and crying and, you know, your soul feeling really bad, you know? And then you had the nerve to say, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I'm sorry that my comments made you feel that way. Whatever the fuck she said. Because I didn't watch all of those videos on her story. <sighs> it's just sad. It's sad that people have nothing else better to do you know you're not booked you're not busy at least not anything big not anything mainstream so you come on tiktok with regular content creators who aren't celebrities not even a list <laughs> you know you you're you don't really bring anything to hollywood you have a few iconic roles, I won't lie. I love Pretty Little Liars. And I'm not gonna say I loved your character in Pretty Little Liars, but I'm pretty sure you got that role. I didn't think it was by coincidence. It didn't just happen. You got that role because you embodied that character. If you guys remember exactly who Paige was, Paige started off as 
a hurt a hurt person who was hurting people hurt people hurt people Paige damn near killed emily she tried to kill her she emily came back up for the air from the water if you guys remember when they were doing their little swim practice lessons and i guess Paige was jealous because emily was a better swimmer and she was um she won the role for the captain she got the lead and she was practicing in the water and then she came back out of the air and then she came back from underwater to come get air so she's like doing her little swimming she came back up to get air Paige pushed that bitch head back down like under the water and held her there for like a minute two minutes maybe three and that's evil and like that just gives that gives me Lindsay Shaw the way you is this and then not even a whole day later <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know like my words my actions were gonna like have this this it wasn't gonna be this severe like i wish that humans would change i wish that your people would change i wish that the majority of your community would change because you started it essentially um nobody's checking for lindsay nobody's nobody's booking lindsay nobody's talking about lindsay nobody has talked about lindsay and nobody is really worried about lindsay so i really just hope that you know when you say that you're gonna take this time take a break from the internet i hope you mean it and i really hope when you come back you just mark it that's it just just use social media like the rest of the celeb most of them they use it for marketing you don't need to be coming on here trying to like portray this relatable life and trying to portray that oh i'm just a normal person i'm just an actress with a bank account i have a nice check i have a nice home but you know i'm still relatable you guys can relate to me no we can't relate to you actually i don't even know why celebrities are on tiktok like you already have a following you already have a fan base you're coming on here trying to steal likes from people you're coming on here reusing reducing recycling old vine videos and just old sounds just trying to get a quick like you come on tiktok to put your little trash ass music on there and try to get these little kids these little 11 year olds to 16 year olds to stream your stuff because you're not getting radio play and your damn show not getting streams on apple spotify or title that's the real fucking key y'all come on tiktok and y'all y'all just really like y'all just abuse the powers that were given to you guys like literally like look at only fans only fans is going to shit thank you bella Thorne. thank you celebrities that decided to come on here and to just show underwear pictures or just to take pictures in their bra and not really like do the full thing you're just using your fans you're using your power you're using your fame you're you're abusing it and you know what you did and the best thing that you can say is oh i'm sorry i don't think sorry fixes anything <sighs> oh my god it's just like why do you guys come on here and start stuff you don't have there's no money to be made la don't they charge you guys for plastic bags you don't don't you have to go make money so you can afford to live in la and afford continue to afford the lifestyle that you want to live why come on tiktok and bother black people when we've already explained the stuff that we have going on why add it into the fire why add on to the fire it just doesn't make sense to me it's kind of like you expect people to have like common sense you expect people to understand the do's and don'ts but people don't understand the do's and don'ts. And then when people get canceled or when people get dragged for the decisions that they've chosen to make, then it's, oh, I wish humanity was better. I wish, you know, you guys weren't as evil. I wish you guys were so much nicer. Why are you guys like this? Why did you decide to come and make a video like this? Why did you decide to come to the internet and give us your little think piece? And then because you didn't get the reaction that you thought you were gonna get, the reaction that you wanted. Now it's woe is me, now I'm a victim, now I need to take a break from social media. 
I mean, you're 32. I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't require much to think, you know, okay, maybe this video is kind of a little too much. Maybe the, the, even if you didn't think that, maybe the crowd on TikTok is a little sensitive because of all the issues politically going on in this world, especially the United States in this moment. Maybe I shouldn't post this. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't talk about these people maybe i shouldn't talk about this subject maybe i shouldn't react to this dance knowing what we're already going through maybe i should just leave it alone but no instead of you doing that you think oh let me go ahead and just put this thing piece out there let me go make this cute little 15 second video let me go get likes nobody's gonna make nobody's gonna say anything about this nobody's gonna think twice it's crazy to me that you watched this video numerous times before you posted it and you still posted it girl bye there's no excuse I'm not telling anybody to cancel her. I'm just saying there's just no excuse. Just stop supporting her. Stop supporting people who make these dumb decisions. These people are not teenagers. The people who usually make these decisions are literally well over 20, well over 21, and damn near well over 26. Stop supporting them. It takes two seconds to unfollow, to not like, to not comment. Just that's it. There's no cancel culture. Stop. Stop supporting these artists these celebrities these actors these these sports players these politicians these activists who just come on social media just to talk shit when you eat you guys have to understand all publicity all hate all positive reviews all positive comments all negative comments all likes all interaction is still good publicity all any type of interaction is good publicity because when you interact with somebody and especially if you don't like it and you start sharing it with your friends or if you save it to your phone or if you're watching this over and over and over and you're commenting hate comments you're giving them more traction what part don't you guys understand social media has been around for so long what's taking so long for you guys to understand maybe if i stop supporting him yes it's one person but maybe if all of one of if 10 people stop following a person with 30 followers that's 20 less i mean that's um 10 less followers than they have now so 10 minus 30 is 20 that's 20 followers that this person just now has and now who's to say you know we comment on the bottom of the video and say, you know, hey, everybody, you know, instead of giving this guy all kind of attraction or whatever, let this be the last post that we will comment on, period. Don't, don't interact with her anymore. Don't, don't, him or her, they, don't, don't give them any kind of traction. Don't like their videos. Don't share their posts. Don't comment. Just let them post. Let them do what they got to do. And I promise you, you will you will start to see a change in these celebrities especially so all my my black folks i'm with the this but to all my black folks stop just just stop giving them traction and i promise you will see a change give it a year unfollow all these celebs i don't follow many celebs anymore i might follow normani because that's my bitch i might follow i don't follow beyonce i you did follow nikki but nikki been fucking around i don't i don't follow celebs like that because what are the celebs incorporating or adding into my life aside from pictures drama tweets i don't get money from these celebs i i these celebs do these giveaways i don't i never want to give away and i'd be supporting these celebrities so you guys really need to really think and really understand the the power that you give the celebrities that you give the actors that you give anyone and that's in the higher up that you give anyone that's in hollywood just stop supporting them all together wash your hands with it and i promise you they will start to act right we are the ones paying their bills maybe we can stop at any time so Lindsay shaw you know i don't feel bad for you i don't think that you know whatever you got i don't think that you didn't deserve it i feel like you know whatever energy you put out into the universe don't be surprised however that energy comes back to you you can't do something 
you can't do something negative and then expect something positive to come back as a reaction. I mean, like, that's common sense. That's like you you doing something positive, you giving back to the universe, you giving a homeless man money on the street. You're going to expect that something good's going to come out of that because you did a good act, you did a good deed. But because you are a good Samaritan, because you did something nice one time out of 365 days of the year, doesn't mean, doesn't guarantee, it doesn't require the universe to pay you back. And just because the universe doesn't pay you back instantly doesn't mean that the universe hasn't paid you back at all. Just because you overlooked when the universe paid you back, that's your fault. That's not, that's no longer in the universe's hands. It's in yours. Miss Shaw, Miss Taurus, I'm going to need you to clock out, sign out, don't come back on TikTok for a month, two months. I'm going to need you to take a break because that whole little, those crocodile white woman tears that I know you said they weren't, but that's very much what it was giving. It, it just wasn't fooling anybody, you know? I really think that, you know, you should take this time. Just don't even, like, say anything. Just do you, boo. You have close friends. You want to make funny jokes like that? Use your close friends. Your friend's not going to out you. Even though they probably should. But they're not going to. You have a close friend. Use it. So, this is just another quick video. I just want to get this off my chest because Jennifer really pissed me off with that one. And then she had the nerve to, like, really come out here and, like, do these fake-ass crocodile tears. Who does that? Oh wait, these white YouTubers, celebs, actor, actresses, sportsmen, sport women. I don't know why you guys choose to do it because I don't do stuff like that. But to each their own, I guess. <sighs> well, thank you guys for watching this short little video. You know, I feel really disgusted it's very triggering and it's just annoying that you guys continuously provoke antagonize and disrespect black people it's getting really old it's gotten old and it's been old um so you know if you're a new subscriber thank you for watching if you guys made it to the end i appreciate all of you guys if you are a previous slash returning subscriber you know i do love you guys dearly thank you guys for always showing me love and interacting and supporting i appreciate all of you i hope you're enjoying your morning night afternoon evening whatever time frame it is for you i hope you're enjoying it and i hope to see you guys later and you know enjoy the rest of your day peace out love you guys